Hey, 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 everybody. Rob Ferretti here with my not sold BMW behind me. Uh, last video, I think I put it up on eBay. Uh, that auction went very well. It bid up to 20 some odd thousand dollars. You guys are assholes. And that just seems to be a fun thing on the internet that, look, this is recognizable. Let's just throw fictitious bids in there. Anyway, I still have it. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with how the internet works. I'm okay with people bidding stuff up. But then the guy, when I said like non-paying bidder, got upset with me. You know, how could you do that, man? Why'd you report me? I'm like, you just cost me 125 bucks. Like, you understand when you do that, ha ha ha, har har har, funny, but you cost me money. So anyway, that's done. I still have the car. It's, something became very clear to me today while I was driving it. It was the odometer. Look at that display, clear as day now. Thing hasn't read an accurate number in years. Now that I guess it's negative 40 outside, it's on point. Awesome. So this car never ceases to amaze me. It changes every day. It always keeps me on my toes. Another thing that happened with this car is this window doesn't work anymore. So I have to manually put it up which also that window I have the motor for, still didn't put it in yet, but that window has to stay up and it'll stay up on its own when it's parked, but when you're driving, it slowly bumps its way down with the road. What just happened? Why is Rob not wearing a hat and he's wearing a different shirt? It's a different day. Uh, it's a mid update video update to update you on the car. Now, the window in the back was an issue. Uh, and I, let, I had somebody follow me to come pick me up using this car and they tried to operate the button here with the window. That changed the position of the motor somehow and then the window fell all the way into the, into the door. So now that window is completely in the door. And I know you're saying like, all right, well, now that you can't put it up, maybe the car will get wet or something. There's another side effect to that, which is probably a little bit more pronounced. And as I merge onto the highway here, I'll see if Ian, the non-driving camera guy who doesn't have a license yet at the age of 25, can figure out what that side effect may be. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. That's called, uh, is it buffering or buffeting? The, uh, the wind has nowhere to go and usually it's in the back of the car, but in this car, it seems like it wants to rip the sunroof out of it. Um, let me see if I can get up. And that was only at like 55 miles an hour, not even a substantial speed. Let me see if I can go a little bit faster here and see what happens. And Ian, because you're such an astute camera guy, you're actually going to film the sunroof when it starts to go crazy. And still not at any speed yet. It's, you really got to get up to the 80 or 90 mile an hour speed to really start like fogging out your head. Now, that all goes away when you open the sunroof. Mind blown. All right, so fun, unexpected side effect of that. Uh, it sort of sucks, but as long as it's the middle of summer and weather's not too bad, it wasn't the biggest problem. However, uh, I ordered a new window with motor for the back for 40 bucks. Uh, it's time to get these windows fixed. That'll solve that problem, it'll solve that problem, it'll solve this problem. The odometer has reshat itself, so now it's back to reading gibberish again but I can sort of make out, uh, I crossed over 280,000 miles. It's now 280, say zero or 175. I'm not sure which one. All right, that's your update on the update. 
back to your previously updated, now a little out of date update. So if it's raining or something like that, that becomes a problem. I'm gonna fix both of those. I'm, other than that, there's nothing really new or exciting about it. I'm gonna keep the car, I think. And, and like, I'm so torn, I wanna get rid of it. I gotta get the, uh, the other BMW up and running for the uh, 500,000 subscriber giveaway. But this thing is my, here's a simple answer. My au pair has been driving my Volt. My Volt, I wanted to return it on the same tank of gas that I got it with. And that's not happening. She drives it down to Philadelphia, which is like 5,000 miles on it already. I'm gonna give her this. Uh, and I was trying to think like, all right, let me tell her the Volt is off limits and let me get her something else. And I can't think of a better car for cheap than this thing. And she drives stick, she's from Italy. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. So there's your update. Uh, sorry that it didn't sell. Maybe I'll throw up a classified ad if somebody wants to write a check for five grand. God bless you, you can have it. Um, even three or four, whatever. If somebody wants to make a real offer and send me money, this car is always for sale uh, because I'll just go get something else fun and exciting and, and document that. Uh, I still have the Creeper Van update. That's coming, we're chopping that up. I mean, uh, we're doing things to that. You'll see what happens. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. There's the update on this car. It's amazing that this thing is still kicking. No real issues other than the windows. We, this is gonna be the third window out of four we replaced. The only one that hasn't been touched yet is the passenger side window in the front. All good things. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next time.